It is late morning here in Michigan, after 10 o'clock, well after 10. You can see how long the shadows are right now, and you know that means one thing, it's winter time. Shortest days of the year, coldest temps of the year. My big new tractor, new to me anyway, a big five series, a 5115M. This bad boy is eight years old with like 65 hours on it. <laughs> I bought this not because I have a need for it now. If you follow the channel at all, we plan on moving at some point, making our own little millennial farm. And uh, I want to be prepared, and when this jewel came along, I knew I had to have it. But for me, that presents a big problem because I like to store my equipment inside. I don't currently have a space tall enough to keep this thing inside, so it's going to be outside all winter long. We talked about it previously. We got to get these tractors ready to deal with that cold weather. It can wreak havoc on a machine. I did a deep dive into the manual. Turns out all those answers are right there, just waiting to be found. So yeah, we've talked about the anti-gel treatment. We're gonna add some of that today because that's one of the major problems that you can have. There's all sorts of solutions in here. All you gotta do is read the manual. You know us guys, sometimes we think we know it all, right? It is not exactly super easy to do. But I've done a whole video on hidden gems inside your tractor manual and somehow I still overlooked this entire page. Maybe you have too. We'll go through it really quick today, let you know what you can do to protect your tractor in the wintertime. As always, if you would, give me a thumbs up. I'll even take a thumbs down and consider hitting that subscribe button right underneath the video if you'd like to see more tractor videos just like this one. And I work with a lot of manufacturers, including AirTech right here, the makers of the Lube Shuttle greasing system that also have this frost line anti-gel treatment as well. You get 5% off with code GWT, anything on their website. More discount codes for other products as well in that description below. So if you wanna save some money, get some good products, read through that description. All sorts of fun links down there. Okay, tip number one, use winter grade fuel recommended by your manual all right so typically what that means is diesel all around the country you have summer diesel you have winter diesel once the fall comes around every station is a little bit different every part of the country every state a little bit different on when they kind of cycle through they got to empty out that summer fuel tank and fill it in with the, the winter diesel as well if you're not sure if your station has transitioned back to winter fuel or even in the spring back to summer fuel just ask the attendant they should know there's a few terms you want to know about diesel when it's cold so you have gelling or anti-gel, you have cloud point, you have pour point. So gelling or cloud point is basically when that, that wax content, there's wax inside the fuel uh, structure that is going to start to gel up or freeze up or solidify. This is a really big problem in your fuel lines and your fuel filter, especially with equipment that is sitting outside. So winter diesel is gonna have a lower BTU rating, which is gonna make it a little bit less efficient. But the trade-off is you can still operate your tractor in really cold conditions. Pour point is gonna be the lowest temperature that there is visible movement of the diesel in your system. The lower the pour point, the better off you are. Something interesting about biodiesel fuel, this was mentioned in some recent videos as well. I really didn't know anything about it, so maybe you didn't either. Pay attention very closely. If you're using biodiesel, it actually has a, a higher gel point, all right? So recommends using fuel treatments, anti-gel treatments, and that kind of a fuel at 41 degrees, so well above freezing point. 41 degrees Fahrenheit, you should start using anti-gel or a fuel flow additive. So 41 degrees is unfortunately a temperature that pretty much any state in the continental U.S. could see at some point. There was a guy that called in from Jacksonville, Florida on the radio uh, just last night, and he said it was 48 down there right now, and we're still in mid-December. So it's possible. Pay attention to that if you are using biodiesel in your machine. Next tip up here is gonna be related to that winter diesel. So even if you have winter diesel, or say you have summer diesel left in the tank, or let's say you are gonna deal with some colder than normal conditions, maybe sub-zero where you're not even sure if that winter diesel is designed to handle it, you can add something like this anti-gel treatment or this John Deere manual, we'll call it a diesel fuel flow additive, all right? They're gonna recommend a John Deere. All your manufacturers are gonna recommend an OEM solution. There's a lot of good aftermarket solutions out there as well. And I think in my opinion, you're probably gonna do more harm than good by just not adding it versus picking any of them and adding it into your system. It's good protection for your machine. This is the kind of product where you're really only gonna do harm if you don't put enough of it in. So I'm gonna to go to the extreme and do the one to 333 ratio here, which is gonna give you the largest benefit, allow you to operate in the coldest of temperatures. Also, if you don't have a full tank, if you only have a, a partial tank like what we have here, then you're going to be okay putting a little extra in there just in case you miscalculated exactly how much fuel was left in your system. 
we got about 10 gallons left in our fuel system here and basically this leader right here is designed to treat 100 gallons at the at the minimal level so i'm going to go ahead and go to the uh the three times that level there so I'm no mathematician. Basically, I, I'm telling you, just do the math. I'm gonna use about a third of this here. It's not rocket science. Get close and I think it'll be good. So this isn't the kind of product you wanna just put in there and then just let your tractor go back to sitting. Make sure you run the system or drive it around. Let it get all jostled up, mixed up, ran through the lines, ran through that fuel filter as well. Those smaller areas, right? The little thin lines and the fuel filter where there's small amounts of the fuel, those are gonna be the most likely to freeze up and gel. Next up, they make mention about heaters, different kinds of ways to help warm up your tractor a little bit pre-starting, okay? So every tractor is gonna have glow plugs. I'm not talking about that. They're gonna talk about an air intake heater, which is available for some tractors, not all tractors. So it could be an option for yours. The same thing with a block heater, which is gonna be typically an option for just about every tractor that's on the market. If you're buying a used tractor, if you have a used tractor, take a look. There could be a little cord dangling down on the side of your engine block somewhere with a plug on it, wondering what that thing's about, or maybe you never even noticed it. Grab yourself an extension cord, get that plugged into the wall. Some guys are running for a few hours. One guy commented recently that he actually put a wireless remote plugged into the outlet of his wall, plugged in the extension cord into the block heater, and then right from his phone, he could turn on that engine block heater an hour or two hours ahead of time, make sure it's ready to go when he goes out there to plow. And if memory serves me correct, I believe I ordered my 3046R with a transmission heater as well. There was a plug um, and a harness right underneath the rear transaxle there. I'm gonna have to see if I can dig up video of that. So we've all seen you put those winter covers on the front of your diesel truck, right? An interesting note though, is they've actually dedicated an entire paragraph, nope, make that two paragraphs, to why you should not use a winter front or a, uh, a cover here up on the screen on your tractor. Listen to this, doing so could cause reduced engine life, additional stress on the fan and fan drive components, lead to increased temperatures dangerously high, and overall cause a lot of premature failures, extra expense for you, and downtime. It does go on to say if you are going to use a cover, you need to leave at least 25% unblocked. That's information I never knew. There is a section in here dedicated to radiator shutters as well. I don't think most of us have to worry about this, but essentially it says most of them are thermostatically controlled. You just want to make sure the baffles are opening and closing properly. The last thing you might want to take a look at, and this is really good advice, especially if you're considering, eh, should I do that oil change now or maybe wait until spring, is seasonal viscosity oils for your machine. So there are going to be certain engine oils you can put in there that basically gum up almost like molasses when it gets to a certain cold temperature, while others are going to do a lot better in those colder temperatures. You're going to see a chart in your manual that will describe different oils that you have available. In the manual that I pulled out right here in front of me, the SAE 0W40 actually has the widest spectrum of temperature range, going all the way from Oh, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the lowest of all of the oils they recommend in here, up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's got a very wide spectrum there. There could be some other benefits. I'm not an oil expert by any means, but something for you to take a look at. Well, hopefully you found that deep dive into your manual to be helpful and prevent some headaches for you this winter. If you like what you see here, if you enjoyed the channel, consider giving a thumbs up, not a thumbs down do it if you must and hit that subscribe button right down below if you're looking for a good anti-gel product check out that air tech you get five percent off with code gwt there's all sorts of other cool products down there for tractor owners as well well until next time stay safe we'll see you soon